welcome to my channel my name is Binta and if you're new here and you like what you see go ahead and hit on that subscribe button so today we have no other person but African millennial here in the house here on YouTube her name is African millennial okay so if you guys want to check her out go ahead and do that I'm going to give her time to um, introduce herself as well so today's topic is um kind of like connected to Africa. That's why we wanted to talk about it because the person who is involved in this topic is an African and an immigrant like me and African millennial. So before we move further, I would go ahead and give uh, you the chance to introduce yourself to my viewers and subscribers. Hey guys, my name is African millennial. If you want to know my real name, wait until 10 years, I'll say it. <laughs> but I am an immigrant and right now I'm currently living in Canada. Um, so my channel is basically, I guess it's just about diaspora issues. Sometimes I talk about things that go on back home, but I also like to talk about things that happen here for Africans because being an immigrant, it's a bit different. And I'm really starting to realize that now. But yeah, if you guys like what I do, please support me and please check out my channel. You don't have to subscribe, but check out my channel. Sometimes I do live streams. I've been doing a lot lately. I'm not sure why. But yeah, thank you so much for having me here. You're welcome. Thank you. Okay, so today's topic has to do with an African immigrant from Nigeria to be specific, and his name is Austin Chembi or Chemi. So I really don't know how to pronounce the surname. But yeah, he is running for governorship in um here in the United States in Michigan and the reason why we're doing this topic is he said something, you know, and as Africans, we feel offended. So we want to talk about it. And he said when he becomes governor, one of the first things he's going to do is to cancel Black History Month because he thinks it's unfair and it's illegal and he's going to cancel it. So I invited African millennial here today to talk about it. So African millennial, I'm sure you have already seen like videos about the topic and you have um, maybe read the article or uh, what he wrote on Instagram. And my very first question is, what is, what do you think about this whole thing? As an immigrant coming out saying he needs to cancel Black History Month. How do you feel about it being an immigrant? Right off, as soon as I heard about it, I was extremely disappointed because first and foremost, I don't know how long this person has been here, but he came from Nigeria or his family came from Nigeria. So I feel like you don't know enough about here to be making decisions about people that have lived here for hundreds of years. You don't have the same background. You don't have the right to speak on behalf of all of them, right? Because you're speaking, He's speaking on behalf of them. Why is he doing that? That's not his place to talk about it. And to be honest, there's so many issues in the world. Why are you worrying about canceling Black history? Like, why don't you <laughs> worry about something else? Exactly. I agree. I agree. What, that's exactly what I said, too, because I was like, what is his business, you know, in Black History Month? If he doesn't agree with it, you know, you just don't agree with it. Just be quiet. But the fact that it doesn't have anything to do with him should just make him be quiet. Yeah. Should just shut him up. But no, being an immigrant, and of course, I feel like it's kind of disrespectful and being arrogant on his side. But I feel like there is a motivator. Something pushed him. What do you think motivates this guy to saying something like this? Well, I think in a very twisted way, I think what he's trying to do is he's trying to be like, okay, well, because I'm an immigrant and now I'm being in a top position, I'm able to do it. So why, why can't they do it? And what's the difference between me and them? So I feel like he wants to fit more into, like have everybody be on the same, the same level. So mm -hmm. I think he's, in his mind, he thinks he's doing a good thing, but he doesn't understand that what he's doing is very disrespectful. And I'll give you an example. For instance, if you or I 
went to South Africa and we were to tell them, oh, you should remove apartheid. Isn't that disrespectful? Oh, but everybody in their country, they went through something. So why does South Africa still talk about apartheid? It's because it's their history and you don't have the right to basically talk about it. It's either you support it or if you don't support it, then you just be quiet. But you shouldn't come out and create that confusion and that division because now he created a division, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, I agree because they still, uh, I went through a lot of videos and comments of people and so many people were bashing Africans and so many people yeah. were like, this is what they get for fighting for Africans. This is what they get for letting them come here and take over that Africans wants to be, they want to take over black America, basically, you know, which I, 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 I felt offended about, but I'm not going to blame them for saying it because this person and what he represents, I mean, he's basically talking on behalf of us, but we don't agree with him. You know, he doesn't speak for all Africans. Now, what I want to say is, do you think, um, because he's in a Republican, um, I don't like to talk about politics, but um, he's a Republican. So do you think because he's, he's in the Republican, um, what is it called again? Party? Do you think he, he is doing this to get votes from Republicans and white people? I Yes, I definitely think that he's trying to get votes, support, and he's trying to like be close to white people and maybe show white people that there isn't much of a difference between whites and blacks. I think that's what he's trying to do. Um, however, it's still an insult because this is the thing. Even in my case, I'm starting to learn a lot about black history, African-American history. I find it very interesting actually. But at the end of the day, I don't know everything because there's a difference between me reading it on a textbook versus somebody whose family experienced what happened, right? So no matter what, you can't erase that history. That history is very important and there's a reason why it's there. It's there to remind, especially um, the descendants of, um, descendants of slaves, that this is what happened and this is where you come from and maybe you shouldn't be ashamed of it but you should know because it's important it explains a lot of why who you are and why your life is the way that it is so i feel like he wants to be close to white people and he wants to get support from them like showing oh we're not that bad just erase our history it's not a big deal and that's just cause that's going to cause a lot of problems to be honest, like we should respect um, African American history. There's a reason why it's there. So we need to respect it. Everybody needs to respect African American history. Okay, so um, from listening to him, he also mentioned um, a few things. He said that um, we should do, should we do white history month as well? since Blacks are doing History Month. So basically those are some of the reasons why he said it's unfair. And, I, and it makes me wonder, what exactly does he think the Black History Month is all about? Because I feel like a lot of Africans are just so ignorant about um, African-Americans and their history. And this includes me. So I say this from a respectful place. You know, a lot of us are just ignorant about them. And some of us, we, we just learn the little that we know uh, because we are um, living amongst them, friends with them, but Africans in general don't know, you know, a lot about slavery. There's so many things that we need to learn, and this is vice versa. African Americans also do not know so many things about Africa, you know? They're also as ignorant as we are about ourselves. So do you think his action um, is... Uh, we, we, we can trace his action to the reason why Africans are not really taught about their history. Can we trace his actions back to that? What, what do you mean by that? 
like Africans not being taught about black history, African history. And that if I say black history, I mean Africa, slavery, African Americans, because we are all black people. And these people are descendants of slaves. So they are all from Africa. Okay. So do you think Africans need to start learning about our history way oh. back in the day? Because yes. Because he, the first thing I, 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 I thought of when I saw him and I listened to him, I'm like, this is the consequence of ignorance and letting go of your own history, not wanting to learn, you know, where you come from. And for that reason, people don't even know where they're heading to. So, like I said, do you think we can trace his action back to being so ignorant and not knowing where he's coming from? Yeah, for sure. Because um, I don't know about his history, but I'm assuming that he doesn't know much about um, African-American history. And I will also put it out there that I don't think he has a lot of African-American friends. Because if he did, he would understand why this is an insult. Africans... Especially, I feel like if they're coming to America, they sh there should be some kind of way that they learn about African American history. Because if they don't know about it, this is the type of situations that cause Africans to do things that are offensive to African Americans. Because they'll say mm -hmm. offensive things and they won't even know. So, yeah, I don't know how, but we need to make sure that African-Americans learn about African history and that Africans learn about African-American history because it's too late for everybody to not know some of these things. Even right. just the basics, people need to know. Right. right, right. Well, I agree too because I was like, okay, because somebody like me, I don't remember learning about African-American history you know, I remember learning, you know, other histories of other um, European countries, but I don't remember learning the Black history, the African American history. And coming to the United States, I felt so ignorant, you know, and I could be one of those people who would say stupid things outside and I may look stupid and people may get offended by what I say, but it's because I don't know, you know. But I believe he doesn't know. But I have a feeling he's also arrogant. Because some things, even if you don't know, you should know what is offensive. And looking at the relationship between Africans, uh, African-Americans and white people here in the United States, don't you think he should have known this would be offensive? Yeah. I mean, I if he really cares about being Black and he, if he really cares about Black people, I honestly, I honestly think he knows. And the reason, the only reason why I think he knows is he seems like somebody who schooled here for a long time. Like he seems like, he, he doesn't seem to me somebody that just came here like five, mm -hmm, seven, mm -hmm. seven. He seems like somebody who went to school very young here. Mm -hmm. So to me, how does he not know? <laughs> That's what I don't understand. And especially because he's, he's running for a, um, a position in parliament, in government. So he's running for a very high position. So he's a learned man. He went to school, he's educated. So right. I find it very interesting how he wouldn't know uh, that this is offensive. I think he knows, but for whatever reason, as you said, he's arrogant and maybe he just does not care that much, to be honest. And that's really sad. A lot of people call this um, self-hate. They said he hates himself. I don't know how to call it, but I have a feeling he's disrespectful. He maybe not hate himself, but he's very disrespectful to Black people. So um, I want to talk about, uh, I want to uh, move this um, topic to Africa, you know. Black History Month is celebrated in the United States and maybe all over the diaspora, in other parts of the diaspora, like the UK probably. But I felt so embarrassed because there was one time I was talking to someone and they talked about why 
um, slavery, there's not, it's not kind of like um, remembered, you know, there's like a holiday a slip for to remember um, slaves, you know, to remember our ancestors, like in Africa, why there is not that type of holiday, you know. So what do you think about that? Do you even think that Black History Month should have started in Africa? Because as far as I know, Black History Month started here in the United States, you know what I'm saying? So, but Africans losing their people, you know, um, do you think we should have been or we should embrace Black History Month to be part of the months that we celebrate. I mean, it's supposed to be all year celebration. It's supposed to be all year remembrance. So it's not even supposed to be one month, but should we start embracing it? Because this is, it's, it's so disgraceful to see descendants of slavery um, trying to remember themselves. Like, who are we to them then? Yeah. Um, this topic, this part of the topic is actually make, it makes me very, very sad when I think about it because like you, I didn't learn about black history until I came here. And even when I came here, I didn't learn about it in school. I learned about it on TV. So if it wasn't for BET, to be honest, I wouldn't even know about it. If it wasn't for right. me talking to people, I wouldn't know about it. Where else would I learn about it? Work? No. So the fact that the fact that i come from west africa and that these people also come from west africa and that i had no idea that that happened until i left africa is unacceptable it's really bad because in school you don't learn about that in school in africa at all so then you don't learn about it in school my parents didn't go to school so where would they get that type of information nowhere like if you go to either the mosque or church nobody talks about these things so where would they learn this um someone has to do something about it africans need to learn about black history because black history is actually part of african history too um we always think that okay for instance you're gambian you always think that okay gambian history is just gambia but Part of Black history is the fact that some Gambians were taken away from Gambia and they ended up in America, right? So we should at least touch upon a little bit of that, especially with this whole diaspora movement, right? That's why some people back home don't even understand who African Americans are because they don't even understand that the history behind that. So yeah, we have a lot of work to do, a lot of work to do on that. I personally think that some people like in Africa just think that black Americans are just blacks in in America and maybe you know like they don't have like somewhere that they come from do you because I, I I I noticed that some people think that they don't even not that they think but they don't know that these people come from Africa they just think that they're just blacks and then you have your whites on the other side, you know? So it's very shameful that like most of us come from West Africa and don't really know. And the few of us who are trying to know it's because we travel and we are mingling with them or we know from TV. And that, that reminds me of the, of the movie Roots, okay? The first time I know about um, Black Americans and slavery was when I watched that movie Roots. I was never taught in schools about slavery. Mm -hmm. So basically, if that movie wasn't out, because although people said that the movie is fake and all that, but if that movie wasn't out, it's like so many of us would still be blinded and ignorant about Black people in the United States. Mm -hmm. So definitely, we need to do something because this is very, very um, disgraceful and embarrassing it is because so, if you think about it and if you think about it i know that um in america they don't teach much about african history either but at least they know a little bit i think in at least in america they know a little bit more than we do so that's not good <laughs> yeah but um you have to also consider the fact that they're americans and there is no benefit of them of the white person teaching them about African history, mm -hmm. you know? 
I mean, they don't have interest to do that. But us, we we have we 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 will benefit from it because, like I said, you have to know where you're coming from to know where you're going. So we 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 should have interest in it as Africans to learn about their history, even if they are not learning about our history. So if they want to learn our history, you know, we can do the same thing that people are doing, try to teach on the media, or they can go to Africa and learn because most likely um, the oppressor is not gonna teach them yeah. where they're coming from or about where they're coming from. Or even if they teach them, they may teach them the wrong things like what you see happening because this is some of the t- reasons why we are so ignorant about each other because both of us have been lied to about each other. Africans have been lied to about African Americans and African Americans have been lied to about Africans, which is why you see a lot of people say, oh, Africans pay us, you know? On uh, on this guy's topic here that we're talking about, I see a lot of comments that say, see, Africans have always hate us. They would never change. Like a lot of disgusting comments. <laughs> and that's why I feel so offended about what the guy did and he said, you know, because even me as an African, with or without knowing about the black history, I just don't understand. What about other um, things that are being celebrated? How is being black or remembering your ancestors supposed to be illegal or unfair to other people, but others can celebrate themselves, you know? So I felt it's very, very disrespectful. And the fact that he's not even an American makes it even more disrespectful. Exactly. Because you you literally don't know anything about them. And even if you know something about them, it has nothing to do with you. You don't you feel like you don't share the same values with them, you know, you don't think like them. So why disrespect them in such a manner? And I think this is some of the reasons why, you know. The oppressor will always laugh at us and it's just creating more division and division. Because what he did, I, I think it, it's just creating more division. Yeah, I don't see true. any type of, you know, um, fairness or, you know, whatever peace that he's trying to make here. People are offended. Yeah, people are offended. Now it's going to be Africans versus... <laughs> African it's always been Africans versus Americans. African Americans like, because you made it much worse. And the thing about I think a lot of Africans also don't understand is the reason why things are much easier for us is because of Black Americans. That's the reason why things are easier for us. I don't know the exact date, but I think it was the 1960s or 70s when Africans started emigrating to America. So what happened before then? It was a whole bunch of things that African Americans had to deal with in America. A lot of them got shot. A lot of them had a lot of rights that they had to fight for before immigrants could even come to America. So it's it's very disrespectful. Like it's, it's very important that you 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 just mentioned something like that. That has been on my mind. Like some of us, we need to understand that the reason we're here is because these people fought for us. Even though we don't know, you know, we don't, we kind of don't realize the kind of fight they have gone through to be able to give us the right to be here, okay? For example, this Austin Jamie himself, he needs to realize that him trying to run for governorship is all for the sake uh, because of African Americans. Because, like, if they didn't fight for us as Black people, though we might think that they fought for their rights, but their rights is what made us come here. It, their rights is what gave us the right to be able to sit up and say, I want to run for this, I want to run for this, you know, bring our kids here, go to school, walk, send money back home. So without them, he was not going to be here. And I don't know if he realized that. 
So it's very important that you mention that Africans need to understand that Black Americans did not only fight for themselves, did not only fight for their rights, you know, or to be treated equally, which they're still fighting for, but they did it for all Black people because that's the reason why they call America the land of the free. Anybody can come here and do what you want. Anybody can come here and say whatever you want to say. What he did, if a Black American could have done it in Africa, like, everybody's going to, like, jump on you, you know? And Africans are going to get offended for you, you know, trying to bring down their culture or trying to, I mean, just imagine it. Let's just be realistic here. None of us here, if you're African and you're listening, none of us would be happy for a Black American to go to Africa and say something like this. So the sooner we realize that these people are somehow our backbone to what we have here in the West, the better for us. We need to know that. Absolutely. We need to be close with African-Americans. Um, they know a lot. I don't know why Africans think that they come here one, two years and then they know everything. They don't know anything. The African-Americans know a lot over here. And plus, um, when we're talking about rights, when we're talking about racism, when we're talking about all these things, it's good to be close to somebody who can give you advice on how to do certain things. So um, I really don't understand what this guy is doing. I don't understand why he had to come out and say it, especially as somebody who's running for leadership. As a leader, you can't say things like that that's going to offend people like that. I don't know <laughs> Hopefully, I think he thinks he that I think he 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 knows that like black Americans are the minority, you know. And he feels like if he does that, you know, he's going to have all the white votes. But he needs to realize that like if a white person doesn't like you or if they don't like an African American, they're never going to like you because you are black. It's not about you being African American or African. It's about the color of your skin. You know, this is the thing that Africans need to differentiate. Some people think that, oh, they, they hate African-Americans because they're so arrogant. You know, they don't treat Africans like that. It does not matter, you know. And I'm not, I'm not, I'm not just um, saying every white person, but I'm saying if a white person hates your African-American brother and sister, then they definitely hate you because they're not hating, you know, them because they're African-Americans, but because they're Black. Absolutely. So we need to we need to um, realize that. And coming from Africa, you know, this guy, especially Nigeria, Nigeria is the giant of Africa. And Nigeria have a lot of smart people, a lot of intelligent people. So, but there is just a few stupid people that makes that country, you know, feel like it's so small when it's the giant of Africa. Because when they tell you some people some stupid people when they tell you that they're coming from nigeria you cannot believe it you know but i must say this guy does not speak for all nigerians nigerians are good people they're smart people nigerians are one of the most intelligent people here in the u.s if you go to like a lot of public sectors you would see a lot of nigerians a lot of surgeons a lot of doctors are nigerians so they are one of the smartest people in the whole world but this guy wants to label not just all Nigerians, but all Africans as stupid and arrogant and kind of divide us with our African-American brothers and sisters. And this is so disgraceful. I, I really, at first, I was like, you know what? I'm so angry. I'm not going to talk about it. But I'm like, you know what? I'm going to talk about it because I'm an immigrant. And this guy is speaking on my behalf. And I don't agree with it. But it's good that you mentioned uh, what you mentioned right now. I, I, I really appreciate you coming on board and, you know, talking about this issue. And basically, what do you have to say to our African, uh, African brothers and sisters? I mean, the continentals, you know. I just, I want continentals to, um, first and foremost, try to learn about African-American history, Black history, could just do a quick search and learn about it. 
Also, I would like Africans, and I, I know Africans get mad when I say this, but just humble yourselves a little bit, you know, because you don't know everything. I think that in Africa, we know a lot about culture, we know about tradition. So that makes us think that we don't need to learn anything. And we have to realize that we're Africans, but there are Africans all over the world. It's not just on the continent. There are so many different types of people who look like us, who come from our countries. They're our brother and sisters. So we should get to know them, treat them with respect and research about what they're going through because there's a lot of people in the world that are actually going through things, black people. It's not just even in America. But what I wanna say also to my African-American brothers and sisters, I'm sorry, <laughs> please on behalf on behalf of this guy, I really apologize. Not every African is like that. It's only a small group of people who are like that. I hope that whatever he wants, he achieves. But I really deeply apologize. We are not all that insensitive. So that's what I wanted to say. Yeah, thank you so much. And I understand that African Americans sometimes there's a big cultural difference between us and them because you know they've been raised here. So of course they're going to be different. They have their uh, their own culture, even though they they still have uh, some African culture in them. But you know it's very different being born and raised in the diaspora. To be honest, I'm just gonna be frank. And sometimes, like they call it, they'll say um, they just say it as it is or it is called tough love. And sometimes we Africans, we do get offended, myself included. You know, sometimes I'll be like, oh my God, you know, they're so rude. Because I used to be uh, someone like that. I used to, you know, say they're rude, you know, because I just cannot understand coming from a different background, you know, and a different culture. So, but it's important that we learn about these people. And honestly, I don't, I don't hope he gets what he wants. Because if he can do this even without him being elected, like, you can imagine what he can do, you know, when he gets elected. Because I'm thinking you should even be scared to say something like that because you're trying to, you know, get to that position. But you're not even there yet and you're saying things as stupid as this so i don't i don't wish he get what he wants because i don't know what he's going who he's going to be representing but it's definitely not going to be me and of course africans you know let's learn about each other you know it's a big cultural difference between us and african americans but we can do this you know we have to be patient with each other and it's vice versa african americans need to be patient with us too we may say things that may be offensive but they also do say things that are offensive to us so we need to learn and be patient with each other you know and realize that we are all black people and this guy i apologize on behalf of all Africans, he does not speak for me and he does not speak for the majority of African people. So we love our brothers and sisters and we stand against his actions. So African Mariana, thank you so much for joining this um, uh, panel today. I'm really, really excited about this and I must say, I really appreciate it. So let us know, like, why do you think people should go ahead and subscribe to your channel right now for good information? Because I say a lot of news that are happening in Africa and I also talk about certain things that other YouTubers don't talk about. Like, for instance, I'm talking a lot about what's going on with the the C V I D I can't even spell it properly, but C O V I D one nine. Yeah. I'm talking a lot about that, especially in how that's affecting Africa. So if you guys are going to Africa or you guys want to know more about certain things that are happening in Africa, please check me out. All right, guys, thank you so much. And if you guys um, want to leave your comments down below on this topic, feel free to do so. And of course, all Africans are welcome to leave their comments down below and let us know how you feel. Let us know if you agree with this man or you disagree, because I'm sure 80 or 90 percent of you guys will disagree with him, if not 100 percent for sure. So thank you guys for joining and bye, guys.